So Rudy responded to my $8,200 video of Meta Poo for Five Nightfall Kids. And his response was he added a Kickstarter and those people sold the Kickstarter for eight to 9,000 or two of the free people. My response to that is, so how much is the Kickstarter worth today? Somebody has to be holding the bags, right? Like th that Kickstarter did not like disappear, right? Either got opened or it's most likely still sealed today, given that it was sold for $9,000. Um, somebody got hosed. Great, your patrons did the hosing. Um, but in this type of market with MetaZoo, somebody paid $9,000 for a Kickstarter box that I don't know what it's worth, but probably less than 1000 maybe 2000 at most, and dropping. In fact, you know, let's take a look at uh, MetaZoo Kickstarter. Booster box. What's the price today? Because I know, I I know for a fact. Oh, it's a thousand dollars. So I have a sale, and this one is signed by the creator Mike. So I have a sale February fifth, which is yesterday. So that's a recent comp for one thousand and twenty five dollars with twelve bids, and it has eleven ninety seven shipping. Maybe you could say it's worth a little bit more because Mike signed it, but it's not worth $9,000. My response to Rudy is, you promoted a game where somebody paid $9,000 for this box, and the box is barely over 1000 after eBay fees take home is about 900 which you never talk about fees. Let me repeat this again. A $9,000 box went for 1000 Somebody is holding that box, right? Somebody is holding that heavy bag. And my God, is it a heavy bag. Imagine spending 9000 So in, in my opinion, this is even worse than before. You know, this is even worse. And the Rudy fans are like, well, yeah, Rudy did him good. No, nah, man, this is conspiracy to commit fraud. Like, do you guys realize that Rudy is using... That Rudy is selling these products to other people who sell the products for even more. He's intentionally selling the product to a flipper for $8,200 who's then going to sell the product for $9,000 and now the product's at $1,000. Someone down the road, and hopefully it's a flipper, but who knows, got hosed. Uh, actually far worse than I initially suspected. $9,000 to $1,000 today. That, that is a sale yesterday. That is a recent real comp with 12 bids on it. And we're taking a look at Rudy's cards and his promos and what value they've done. PSA 10, PSA 9. It's not what he said they would be. <laughs> it's not what he said. So again, I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, just because somebody flipped... A product that you sold for 8200 for more money does not mean that was a good product and time will tell time will tell and time has told and the story is it went from nine thousand dollars to one thousand dollars or less after fees right because you're the seller you gotta pay the fees rudy chan you gotta pay them you know, liquidity fees never talked about ever. And I find that hilarious that he is selling these things and he's actually defending when the story is even worse. And, and I tell you why the story is worse. Um, so a Patreon, right, is trying to flip the product for more money. I think it was he got the five MetaZoo night kit for free. Maybe he flipped them. I mean, if a flipper flips it, it kind of makes sense. I doubt they held them, right? So he's basically taking the package, selling it for even more than Rudy, making a little bit of money very fast. Who is he flipping the package to? Who is he? The Timmies. The Timmies are getting the package. 
and the package is $9,000 becomes $1,000. And There's no justification. I mean, I look at the 6.9. Has he justified that? Has he justified the 6.9? I mean, have you seen these prices? They're not good. These are these are not good prices on his promo. Um, again, let me just say this from the bottom of my heart. The 6.9 was not a good product. It was a product that a lot of people paid a lot of money to. The MetaZoo Nightfall was not a good product. The large majority of people, I know he talks about his two Patreons, and the large majority of people who bought Nightfall kit from him held on to those kits, sealed. And they're not worth anything that he was charging them at. So I love the fact he addresses the 8200 without addressing the other denominators, which did not receive the Kickstarter pack or the Kickstarter box. Right? There are other denominators. Right? I mean, I think, what was it, $600, $500? Like, who knows? Like, did those people make money, Rudy? Did those people flip it for more? Like, have you reached out to those Patreons at each tier? And that's what Rudy does. Um, there was a recent video where Rudy was talking about how much he sold something for. And he misstated, and then somebody in, in the comments actually called them out on it. A Patreon called them out on it, who's probably now banned from the Patreon. And the price that he said was much lower. He said he charged them much lower. The Patreon said, no, we were charged much higher. And the market price is this, which is now much lower. So there are many times Rudy lies. And I think he's just a psychopathic liar because it's so natural for him to lie. He said Meta Zoo. He said he, there is video evidence of him saying Meta Zoo. He never said it was investable. No one thought it was investable. There is, well, if no one thought it's investable, how, why are people paying $9,000 a box? Like, legit, like, why are people paying $9,000, what, for the fun of it? They, they, they want, and those people pay $9,000 a box. Are they truly opening these boxes? And look at the value of his play mats today. Five bucks or shipping. You got, you got what? Five play mats for a dollar or shipping. Like, it went to auction, Rudy. Auction and five of your play mats went for a dollar. You know, I mean... Here we got the crown eater, right? December 9th, where before the whole Meta Zoo collapse. I wonder what uh, recent. Now, you got to go off recent comps because so much has happened in Meta Zoo. This is the S&P 500, guys. At any time, you could have picked a little line in the graph and you would be at all-time high. No, I am <laughs> I'm not joking you. I am not joking. I am not kidding. At any time in this graph, you can pick uh, a, a point to buy. This is undefendable. 6.9 is undefendable and is nightfall. Congrats, Rudy. Two people flipped it to make money. Does that make you warm at night? Because it's pathetic that everyone else lost money because of you. 